The question is to what acceleration should this wedge be subjected so that the block does not slide down the incline. The angle of the wedge is theta. The mass of the block is m and there is no friction between the block and the wedge. So to this end, let's draw the free body force diagram for the block. So we draw the block out here. I separate it from the wedge. That's the block. And let's draw the forces acting on the block. There is mg acting straight down. There is the force of normal reaction acting perpendicularly to the wedge. And those are the only two forces. There is no friction. These are the forces acting on this block at one instant of time. Now, let's take our x-axis pointing to the right in the direction of the acceleration not along the incline but horizontally why because it's always wise to take one of the axes to be in the direction of the acceleration so in our problem we know that the acceleration is in this direction so let's do that so if i take the x-axis horizontally mg has no component in the x direction the normal reaction has got a component of, well, let's find out. See, this is the angle of the incline. This is theta. That is theta. And so, this is 90 minus theta. So, we have N sine theta is the horizontal component of the normal reaction. And that is equal to mass of the block times the acceleration because it is moving now with the wedge it has the same acceleration as the wedge and in the vertical direction there is no acceleration so n cos theta is equal to mg so if i divide equation 1 by equation 2 we get tan theta is equal to a by g and that tells us the acceleration required is g tan theta. If the acceleration is less than this, the block will slide down the incline. If the acceleration is more than this, the block will slide up the incline. This is the exact acceleration for which the block will stay on the incline as the incline accelerates.